right, Oval fans. Now, this video is talking about the possible change that Gail Franklin might experience as the season goes on for the Oval. I think I mentioned this in my episode review of the Fish Bowl, which was honestly one of the worst episodes this season so far. The highlight definitely came from the conversation between Gail and Richard about life in the White House. You know, um, once Gail stopped being a brat for about two minutes, Richard was able to lay on some hard truths to her about his experience in the White House for, I believe, like 20 years and the fact that the children of pretty much almost every administration he served under has not wanted to be there because, well, they kind of had to be because of their parents or, well, more like their father because, you know, obviously the father was the president, but you get what I'm saying. And he talks about how, you know, the people in the White House put down their lives to protect the first family and the fact that you should really give them a chance because you can make the most out of this opportunity even though you don't want it. You could be something special. It could change you for the better. And I really like this conversation because it was really like, Gail was in a place where she couldn't just walk away, mainly because she was injured. And the fact that it wasn't someone who was intimidated by her because, you know, even when she threatened the whole, well, I can have you fired, but it's like, well, it's too late for that. So you want to listen to what I got to say. And I really did like it. It reminded me of when Priscilla was telling her about Emmett Till. And remember, as soon as Priscilla left the room, Gail did some research on it. And then, oh, lo and behold, she brought that same intel up to Richard. So what I'm saying is, and I mentioned this in my review, and I think I even mentioned this in a video about Priscilla and Gail getting closer as the season goes on. I want gradual growth. This doesn't have to be a one episode arc. We don't need that. We can definitely see some changes in Gail as time goes on. Sure, her relationship with her parents, specifically her mother, probably isn't going to be healed anytime soon. But so long as she's able to, well, not be as rude to the White House staff, whether it be the the maids, the, um, you know, the Secret Service, supervisor, whatever role they are, that would be nice. And maybe, just maybe, if Gail is able to kind of change that, I don't know. I mean, even Priscilla's already said how she feels bad for the kids and how they're being raised based off what she's seen from Veronica, seeing people, I mean, Victoria, you know, seeing um, Gail get tased and, you know, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. And I mean, heck, even seeing the Secret Service like uh, Yuma, just seeing how Victoria wants taser, tasers and guns to use on her kids. So I really do hope that Gail does change for the better as the series progresses. Now, her and Victoria, that's one. I mean, if you thought the Hannah and Candace thing was bad, then this is just next level. But I will say this much. When it comes down to it, you know, she says some things I didn't catch on to the first time I watched the episode. I read the comments on my episode review and people were saying, you know, when Richard was saying, you know, well, those guys were, you know, hurting you. And um, what did, what did Gail say? They haven't done anything. My uncle, they weren't about to do anything. My uncle hasn't already done before, which raises a few red flags like, you know, uncle. So which uncle are we talking about? Are we talking about an uncle from Victoria's side of the family or an uncle from Hunter's? To be completely honest here, based off what we know of Victoria and Hunter so far, I'm more inclined to think it was an uncle from Hunter's side of the family based off a line of dialogue from a several episodes ago about Victoria saying how, oh, what, what about you messing around with 16 year old girls? Well, I only messed around with girls who consensually agreed. So just based off how low down and dirty a dog Hunter is, I'm more inclined to think that one, if he has a, yeah, I'm thinking like one of his siblings, male, obviously was the one to do things to Gail growing up. That's just my assumption. I could be wrong, but I'm more inclined to believe it was someone from Hunter's side than Victoria's side, just because of the fact that with Victoria talking about how she was literally the black sheep and, you know, nobody really liked her in her family until she got to the position of power she's in now being married to Hunter. I'm not thinking that you know, her side of the family would really be keen on how, um, you know, her mixed children. So yeah, I'm more inclined to think that it was Hunter's brother or one of his brothers. We don't know how many siblings he has than anything on Victoria's side. Just my opinion. Now, another thing to take in consideration is whether or not Gail is going to, well, 
help Richard get his job back. And I'll do a video on that, you know, about him being rehired because Victoria said she wanted it to happen, but it hasn't so weird. And, you know, what if Barry's allowed back into the White House to help his dad every now and then? What would their next interaction be like? Will she apologize to Barry? Hopefully. I don't know if we'll ever see those two interact again, but it would be nice to just kind of see those um, two kind of, you know, well, mainly Gail needs to soften the blow. She's the one that did everything. Her and Jason, yeah, I don't know how that's going to go because Jason, I mean, he said he wanted payment for helping her escape, but he blew whistle on her. So I wonder what their next interaction is going to be like because Gail's going to be like, how did they know where I was at? But it's like, well, you know, I, I bet Jason's probably going to say that, well, I told you and I blew whistle on you. So I wonder how their interaction is going to be. But I think Gail is probably probably going to warm up to priscilla first in my opinion especially with richard not being there for now and then maybe gene she might start acting nicer to her and secret service because well she needs someone to protect her from her mother now with that being said i still think gail and jason should have been written to be older than like their teen years i know that gail told richard that they were in boarding school but the only reason they've been brought back to the white house is to have this picture perfect family for the sake of looking good for the camera and everything but that's anything but the truth so i'm wondering yeah i'm guessing they're both around the same age so i would hope that um yeah that's a good question we don't know how long this series is going to last and time seems to be going at almost half and have not speed so I don't know if we're going to see a full administration here. Will we see an impeachment? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But in any case, guys, let me know in the comment section below. Do you think Gail is going to change? Will she take what Richard has said to heart? Because he was dropping some true gems of wisdom to help Gail as she goes along in the White House. And maybe she will plant those seeds of knowledge in her brother. I don't think so anytime soon. I feel like Gail really needs to kind of find herself. Because obviously feeling alone in a family, um, always being under the public watch and everything like that, and not having any freedom, just like Richard said, a fishbowl. So we'll just have to wait and see what kind of changes take place. Like I said before, let's not rush it. Let's just see it gradual changes. Just like, again, her looking at the computer, look up Emmett Till when Priscilla left the room. Then her bringing up that intel to Richard several episodes later about her allegations. It's little things like that that I appreciate, but that's just my opinion. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and go down to the description box because every link to my social media is down there. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all the Facebook groups for these various shows, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.